All right, so here's another example. And, you know, I remember I was thinking of ways to uh, make the rotation problems a little bit easier. And um, I thought if we can actually graph our image on a separate piece of paper, it would make it a lot easier. So let's go ahead and try and graph this image, this image north. Um, N may not fit on the graph just right. It's going to be off of it just a little bit on mine, but yours will probably be fine. So on a piece of paper, I'm just copying these down. Um, on the side, and you'll see why in a second. So there's n, o is at negative five, up six. Um, r is over six, up one. T is back one, up two. And then finally, h is back six, down three. Okay, so we can go ahead and connect these. All right, so it looks pretty good, right? So this problem is, I've copied it down on my piece of paper off to the side, and this paper has asked me to rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, well, I know that positive 90 means that I'm going to be rotating it um, this way, right, counterclockwise. So what I can literally do with my piece of paper is just pick it up and spin it and rotate it. I've just rotated the paper 90 degrees, and now all of a sudden this is super easy, because check it out, I know exactly what all my coordinates are going to be. Let's start at N. I can tell. What are my coordinates? Well, it's back 3, down 8, so my coordinate is negative 3, negative 8. O is going to be, let's see, negative 6, negative 5. R is going to be negative 1, up 6. T is going to be negative 2, negative 1, and I is going to be, oh sorry, that's not I, that's H. H is going to be um, over 3, down 6. And okay, so here's the deal. Here's why I would do this, right? So now that I've rotated on paper, it's really easy. I didn't have to do my L, I didn't have to do anything. I just literally spun my paper, right? I just spun it. And then what happens is, I know where all my points should be, and now all I have to do on con is just map these points on the graph. So literally, I'm just going to go, okay, n is at negative 3, negative 8, there's my new n. O is at negative 6, negative 5. Okay, r is at negative 1, 6. Um, t is at negative 2, negative 1. And we said h is over here at 3, negative 6, so I should put a little negative there. And now I could just connect my dots. And on con, they're going to connect these dots for me automatically anyway. And there we go. There's the, the blue is the pre-image, and the R is the image that they're asking for. So we've, we've done the rotation. We didn't have to use our L's. We didn't have to really use patty paper or anything like that. And it's pretty simple. So... I think it's a pretty good trick. I hope you guys like it. I hope it works for you. Um, and I hope I see a lot more mastery on the rotation skills.